In the context of understanding the problem, we've used what's called functional imaging. We've tried to see the areas in the brain that are involved in visual snow and then understand their uh, behaviour, what's called their physiology. And what we're starting to learn is that is that the area, an important area that's involved is the so-called visual association cortex. So it's the part of the brain that puts together the messages uh, that come from the eyes and come from the visual system. And we can see that this, this area uh, is, is overactive in some way and is what we call metabolically compromised, so it's changed. That's going to help us understand where to go in terms of uh, not only the understanding the disease, but understanding treatments. It also fundamentally validates the biology, the reality that every visual snow person has and knows, but I'm afraid not enough, not enough people in medicine have come to realise. This is a real problem with something that can be measured.